Hello, welcome back to our channel. My name's Julie, and with the help of my husband Justin, we are full time resellers. Sorry if the lighting's a bit iffy right here, but honestly, you're not going to see me except shrunk it down very tiny for most of the video because I'm going to do a what sold video. I'm going to show you um, what sold in about a five day time period. We'll talk about where we got the item from, how much we paid for it, and what our total profits were in the end. All right, first up is this vintage 90s Walt Disney World um, embroidered shirt. It had the Mickey ink tag, which I'm showing you right here on the screen. It sold for $20.69. We had picked it up at the bins for only 75 cents. So in the end, we made a $16.94 profit. All right, these boxer shorts. I went to a, um, it was like a sale at a local college. They, they always have like a big flea market there um, a couple weekends every year. And there was, I think I bought eight packs of these men's. The brand is called Big Yank boxer shorts um they were definitely vintage and they were only a dollar a pack so i was like eh, i'll try it and at first they just sat and sat and sat i've had them probably about a month i would maybe a month and a half and now all of a sudden they started selling so this one sold for nineteen dollars and 99 cents as i said we had a dollar into it and we made a fifteen dollar and 21 cent profit all right, we have four 10 pound cap pancake style weight plates. Um, these sold for $43. Um, we had $12 into them and we made a $22.95 profit. Then we have these Christopher and Banks. Um, they were new with tags, I do believe. Yeah, I got them at the bin. So I paid $2.17 since they weighed a bit. They sold on an offer for $19 and we made an $11.84 profit. All right, then we have this Nine West dress. I grabbed this at the bins. Um, I got probably like 10 plus size dresses that day, all new with tags, all from Kohl's. Um, this one sold for $26.99. By weight, I paid $1.83. We made an $18.75 profit. All right, we have some weight plates, more. These are five, four or five pound weeder plates. They sold for $35. We paid six and we made a $20.47 profit. These Zach and Rachel pants were a pickup on 99 cent day. They sold for $18 and we made a $13.47 profit. That brand is a so-so brand. Um, I think it's sold at like TJ Maxx and Marshalls, but I pick it up if it's new with tags. All right, the Vineyards Vine tie. I showed this in my last video that we decided to try to look into some ties. Um, and I'm happy to say this tie sold really fast. Um, we paid 33 cents for it because they're three for 99 cents at our thrift store. It sold for $20.69. We made a $16.93 profit. And as I said, it was a super quick flip. All right, this Alex Evenings, it was like a two-piece sparkle jacket. I mean, definitely very dated in my opinion, but I got it on 99 cent day and I had looked up and saw that the Alex Evening brand does well. Uh, sold for $20.64. We made a $15.93 profit. This was a two-piece, very tropical to... Tahiti, I guess is how you say it, Reef Club, um, two-piece outfit. I got it on 99 cent day for both pieces. It sold for $20.64, and we made a $15.93 profit. Um, this billabong, it was just like the sheer overlay top. Um, I personally would not have picked it up. Justin brought it home from the bins. Um, he said that it didn't weigh much, <laughs> so that's why he got it cost 27 cents. It only sold for $10 and we've had it for a while and we made a $6 and 77 cent profit. Um, then we have these LL Bean. They were like women's cargo hiking shorts. Um, I do believe, yeah, those came from the bins. They only, they only cost 86 cents because they were so lightweight. Um, they sold for 19 and we made a $14 and 48 cent profit. 
This Quacker Factory, um, like button front shirt jacket, I actually paid full price for this, which is something I don't do very often. I paid $5.99 for it. It sold within like two days. So I don't mind paying up if something's going to sell fast. And I would say my tips for Quacker Factory are plus size for sure. And then like embroidery or sequins, like something interesting on it. And then it seems to be a sure fire, fire quick seller. So it sold for $26.99. And even though we paid up, we still made a $16.34 profit. And it was a very quick profit. This Ann Taylor, it was like a two-tone dress. It was really weird. It was navy on the top and black on the bottom. It was a 99 cent day find. It sold for $21.59. And we made a $15.45 profit. And then these two standard weight collar thingies sold for $12 and we made an $8.95 profit. These Skechers, they were just like a slip on like lacy shoe. Justin grabbed them at the bins. He paid $1.06 for them. They sold for $17.09 and we made a $12.57 profit. This Pikachu plush is a very rare one. There was ones that sold for close to $100, but I have had this listed forever. I only paid 79 cents at the bin. Someone offered me $32 and I gladly accepted and we made a $26.72 profit. These four five and a half pound weeder weight plates uh, sold for $34.99. We paid $6.60 and we made a $19.88 profit. All right, this was a new to me brand in Ibex. It was a merino wool sweater. Um, it seems to be used by like cyclists. Sold for $39.99. Um, I actually had zero cost of goods into it and it sold for $31.74. More weights, two and a half pound billard weight plates. Um, and then these two five pound billard weight plates, they were purchased by the same person. So they actually got combined um, together. The total cost of goods was only $4.50. And they sold for a profit of $95 for the two sets. So that was a great weight sale. Um, this woman within, um, it was just like a short sleeve t-shirt, but it kind of had a little bit of like piping detail on the shoulders. This was a 99 cent day find sold on an offer for $15. We made $10 and 89 cents. Um, the dress shirts, if you've watched my videos, my previous ones, I had, um, talked about that we were starting to try to pick up more men's clothing and I had gotten a bunch of button ups. And you'll see through these last few days, they finally start selling. I wonder if people are buying them even like for the Easter holiday. So this one, let's see, we picked it up for $1.19 at the bins, sold for $19.79. We made a $13.89 profit. These shoes were so pretty. It was like one of those things where you just can't photograph them and do them justice because you couldn't see how sparkly they were. But um, we grabbed them on 99 cent day. They're international concepts. Um, they were like silver rhinestone shoes. Um, they sold for $21.59 and we made a $17.26 profit. Another menswear item, this Polo Ralph Lauren Merino wool sweater was a bins pickup for 94 cents, sold for $27.99. We made a $21.34 profit. More weight collars. Justin had a big collection downstairs and he went through and listed them all. These ones sold for $13.49 and he made a $10.24 profit. Um, this J Jill um, or Pure Jill 100% linen like tank top with cute little pockets in the front. Um, I showed it in a haul video two videos ago, maybe it was. Um, we only paid 51 cents for it at the bins. Sold for $24.99 and we made a $17.58 profit. Um, these Dow & Company shoes were new with tags. They were from 99 Cent Day. Um, they sold for $19.99 and we made a $12.85 profit. In this Talbot's tank top, you can tell summer's 
people are thinking about summer because we're selling some tank tops. This was purchased at the bins for only 37 cents because it was so lightweight. Sold for an offer of $15 and we made an $11.86 profit. And these Teva sandals were so cute. They had like celestial like stars and moons on the straps, um, but they just weren't worth tons. But luckily they were very lightweight. These ones were only cost $1.21 at the bins. They sold for $19.99 and we made a $12.90 profit. So next we have these JBU um, like Mary Jane type shoes. We normally do really well with these. They don't sell for tons of money, but if you can pick them up for cheap enough, they normally sell pretty quickly. Um, these ones sold for $22.49. We paid $2.05 at the bins, and we made a $16.47 profit. This cute little vintage ceramic um, Easter Bunny house, I got it free from a neighbor. So when someone sent me an offer for $12.99, I figured my window for closing it was ending very soon so i took it and we made an eight dollar and 79 cent profit this ralph lauren um button i guess it's buttoned down the difference is if you're unsure when the collars have the little buttons on the quarter that corners that's called a button down if it doesn't have the collar that literally buttons to the shirt then that's called a button up but um justin picked this up at the bins for 93 cents and when we got it home i realized it had some like it had been folded and it like faded on the line. It was folded. So I priced it very cheap and someone sent me a $7.50 offer and I gladly accepted to move the flawed item out of our inventory. And we made a $4.41 profit. And this was an exciting sale. Um, I showed this in a video. It was one of the first items that I purchased when trying to expand my horizons and pay full price for some things. But this actually ended up being, um, half price i didn't realize at the time but it was the half price color of the week but they were these cool cg cowgirl up boot boots boot cut jeans with this amazing you could see the embroidery on the pockets and notice i used the picture of the back pockets for my first picture just because i felt like this was the part of the jeans that was going to sell it so i put it as the first picture and then the second picture i did the full back and then the third picture i showed at the full front but so as I said, I paid up for these $4. Um, they sold for full price of $34.99, but they probably used my 5% off coupon and we made a $25.14 profit. So that was a great full plate price flip. All right, we've got some Musimu Duty um, leather sneakers, brand new with tags. You guys know I talk about um, my Salvation Army has a lot of like they get a lot of zara um massimo um strata strata varus strata varus yes i think i'm gonna show on here eventually too um so we picked them up on 99 cente so these sold for 35 dollars and we made a 24 dollar and 80 cent profit <laughs> um this little guy so it's Disney Munchlings. I had never heard of it. Justin brought three of them home from the bins on a trip. Um, I sold the other two. They were like two peppermint candy looking things. They went international and like sold all in for like with shipping for like $40. It was crazy. So this one um, sold for $20. He paid 12 cents for it. And we made a $15.07 profit. This T by Talbot's... Um, quarter zip pullover this was we've had this in our inventory so long this is one of the oldest items in our inventory i picked it up on a 99 cent day when i was kind of new at picking up 99 cent day items i would never pick that size up it's a size small and t by talbots like just now julie would not do this at all but it sold for seven dollars we made a three dollar and 55 cent profit this joan voss sweater i Bought it because it was a 3x and it is the softest material but there's just not it's just not like a very sought after brand shall we say um when i brought it home and started like looking it up to listing i was like oh maybe i shouldn't have bought this so when someone sent me a 19 dollar 99 cent offer i jumped on it um we paid 99 cents and we made a 14 dollar 41 cent profit 
these keds i only got them because they were so interesting like they were like slip-on keds like backless and they were in pristine condition red white and blue color um we've had them for a while because i think i did list them probably like oh, late fall um they sold for $17.99 we paid $1.76 at the bins we made a $12.26 profit these brand bizarre like studded jogger jean things i had never heard of the brand i think i did i find it at the bins yeah i paid $1.48 for it i looked it up and some items from this brand sell for a lot so i remember being like all right i'll try it ended up selling for $20 we made a $14.95 profit. Here is the Stradivarius boots. So um, the last few weeks, we found a couple pairs um, on 99 cent day of these boots, new with tags. They're definitely a low tier. I feel like, you know, Zara's in the middle, Massimo's a top, and they are low tier because they are all like faux leather. As we're Zara, most of the time it's real leather, though sometimes it is fake leather. And the SEMO is almost always real leather. Um, so I knew I wouldn't get tons for these, but I figured they were new at tags and it was only 99 cents. I would give it a shot. So these sold for $20 and we made a $15.31 profit. More weights, four two and a half pound standard weight plates. Um, these sold for $17.99 and we made a $9.49 profit. Do I need another thingy? Yes. All right. This Eileen Fisher top, I actually got three of these. I showed them at a bins haul, um, all in the same size at the bins at the same time. They were clearly all owned by the same person. Um, I just don't find that much Eileen Fisher stuff. And obviously this is a very low end Eileen Fisher, um, but it, I only paid 52 cents for it. It sold for $20. And I made a $16.07 profit. Um, Justin picked up this Charter Club Luxury. It was like a cashmere sweater. It did have some pilling. I worked on it, but it was hard because, because it was color block. Like some of like the black fuzzies were in the cream areas and stuff. I was really on the struggle bus with this. So um, it ended up selling for $15 because someone sent me an offer and I just wanted it gone. And we made a $10.22 profit. And then this very Y2K velour two-piece tracksuit. Um, I know I had them in the early. I, I can clearly remember wearing them a lot um, right after I had our daughter. So uh, 2004 that was. But um, I found this at the 99 cent sale. They were supposed to be 99 cents for the two of them. And the cashier messed up and rung them up individually. And I just told her it was fine not to worry about it. So I paid $1.98 for the two of them. Um, they sold for $34.99. We made a $23.15 profit. So we have this Ellen Tracy. It was like a wool blend um, cardigan, almost bordering on jacket. Um, it was, what was the size? Size 3X. Yeah, I thought it was a bigger size. Um, I picked it up at the bin. So I paid up. I paid $2.39 just because it was so heavy. Sold for $27. We made an $18 in 44 cent profit this lucky brand bl blouse i grabbed on 99 cent day purely because it was new with tags i just personally don't do well with like basic lucky brand shirts but um since it was only 99 cents i took a chance on it sold for 17 dollars we made a 12 dollar and 73 cent profit these sketcher shoes i do believe justin got these at the bins he paid a dollar 40 for them they sold for $25 and we made a $19.01 profit. We have some Robert weight plates. They sold for $29.99 and we made a $16 profit. Um, this was a custom bundle for a, um, a viewer of the channel. Thank you so much, Becky. So she bought this Patricia Nash. Um, it was an amazing smelling leather backpack. And then she also, here's this shirt at the very end, the picture. Um, bought this Stalin Company shirt. So when all was said and done, we had $3.40 on the backpack, 99 cents on the shirt, and I made a $41.21 profit. Um, another polo or Ralph Lauren polo button down. Uh, this one sold for $17.50. I paid $1.10. 
weights and we made a $13.10 profit. All right, we've got a couple weights here. These are waffle plates. Do you see they're called waffle plates because of the pattern that's on them? It looks honestly like a waffle iron. Um, these sold for $34.61. Um, he paid $6. We made a $20.25 profit. And then we have some cap pancake style weight plates. Um, these sold for $27.99. And we made an $11.09 profit. And I finally sold an UMG piece. I was talking about in previous videos. Um, I always heard people talk about UMG and I was so excited the first few times I sold it and or bought it, but then I've never sold any of the pieces. So I thought this one was really unique looking, different like prints, florals, animal prints, etc. Found it at the bin. So I only paid 46 cents and it sold for $26.99 and we made a $20.69 profit. Uh, this sweater was the second oldest item in my inventory. <laughs> we paid $1.17 for it. It sold for $5.36 and we made a $2.27 profit. This was a Susan Graver liquid knit. I love finding Susan Graver stuff, especially like plus sizes mainly, um, but it was a shrug and in a one X. I found it at 99 cent day. It sold for $15 and we made a $10 and 98 cent. Then these four five pound Olympic weight plates sold for $26.99 and we paid $6 and we made a $15 and 16 cent profit. Um, I got these kids. Sacconi shoes on 99 cent day. I rarely ever buy like kids shoes, but they just looked in such great condition. Um, someone ended up sending me an offer for $20. I accepted and we made a $13 and 32 cent profit. Um, I found two of these boys Lacoste, but they were like, um, whoever Novak, Devak, Polo. Okay. I don't know. I think he's a tennis player. Whatever that name is that you're seeing on the screen, Novak, whatever. I'm not going to try to pronounce that last name. Um, it was like a collab. I found two of them at the bins. I only paid 41 cents by weight. Sold for $22.49 and we made a $20.96 profit. And then these four 10 pound more pancake style weight plates. These ones sold for $52.99. We had $12 into them and we made a $29.29 profit. So we have this, um, another Polo Ralph Lauren. This is a pink and white, like gingham button front shirt. This one sold for $20.50. We paid 90 cents at the bins and we made a $15.79 profit. Another Easter item, another free item from my neighbor, um, sold for $12.74 and we made a $9.91 profit. And this Talbot's jacket, it was a linen blend. It was plus size, like open front, um, all great things to find in a jacket. Sold for $28.99 and we made an $18.89 profit. All right, now we're going to jump over to Poshmark. First thing we sold was this Torrid bra. It sold for $20. We got it at the bins, so we probably paid around like 70 cents for it. And we made a $15.42 profit. Then we have these, sorry, I'm trying to find my notes here. This We have these high top Converse. Um, I talked about this in my Instagram stories, if you follow me on Instagram, but um, we just find that most Converse just are really slow moving, but black high top Converse almost in any condition sell so fast. And these were no exception. They sold on Poshmark for $37 and um, we got them at the bins. We paid a little less than three and we made a $25 and 17 cent profit. And then these men's Birkenstocks were also a bins pickup. Um, we paid I think it was a smidgen over two dollars sorry i don't have my poshmark cost of goods but whatever men's size 12 flip-flops weigh <laughs> for $1.69 a pound um these sold for 35 dollars and we made a 25 dollar and 83 cent profit this next item is an exciting sale it's another item that i found on 99 cent day that was actually half price so i paid four dollars for it but it was a talbot's linen top 3x so as you could see once again linen in big size plus it was new with tags sold for 40 dollars on poshmark and i only paid four dollars for it 
and our profit was $25.98. Another bra. This one sold for $19, um, and we made a $12.43 profit. This JM collection shirt was picked up on 99 cent day. It sold for $18, and we made a $13.41 profit. This tour dress was so cute. I've had it for a while. Um, obviously, it's just kind of coming into season now, but I was kind of trying to get Poshmark moving over the weekend, so I sent out aggressive 30% off offers, and this one sold for $17. I paid $0.99, cents and I made a $10.59 profit. And the last item were these Crocs. Um, they're not that popular of a style of Crocs. Um, we got them at the bins. Um, I think the cost of goods was like $1.20 something. And they sold for $17 and we made a $10.43 profit. All right, so for all those items you saw, our total profits were $1,246.61. So if you divide that by the five days of sales, that's about $249 in some sense a day. And if you multiply that by $365 a year, that's $91,000. So at first I was like, eh, you know, it's not that great of sales day, but you know, $249 per day profit is not too shabby. All right, thank you so much for taking the time to watch. Um, if you're new here and you enjoy this kind of content, I would so appreciate you subscribing, liking, leave a comment below. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.